Well guys, I have some exciting news to break on this channel. I intend to be the first E van life channel there is, at least as far as I'm aware of. I'm on the cusp of buying an electric van or electric pickup truck, that's what I'm still stuck between. If you guys have like a preference, let me know in the comments. I've been weighing them back and forth. They each have their own set of pros and cons. But regardless, soon I'll be pulling the trigger on one of these options. And the goal here is to show you guys how e-van life is possible. On the road charging, of course, I'm gonna bring my electric bike with me and do fully electric adventures. I'm gonna show you guys all the details on how I do power management, uh, you know, start like internet, my solar system. I did just get uh, a new uh, solar generator. This is a key component of the whole thing. Although the car is going to be the main battery backup. But until then, for this video, I do want to share some, some of this research I've been going through and uh, basically some key findings. So I'm sure people have already left a comment saying how electric vans, electric pickups are, you know, environmentally just as bad as gas cars and that whole line of thinking. And it is true that uh, especially larger vehicles, their efficiency goes way down. Um, we know in the e-bike e world that heavier bikes get less range and that's just multiplied tenfold for vans and trucks. The number I found, so for my bike for example and most like Saran's, uh, we get about 15 miles per kilowatt hour. So this bike is 72 volts, 30 amp hours. That gives me a total watt hour capacity of 2,160. So that's basically two kilowatts. And in my range test, I discovered this thing has 30 miles of range. An electric truck like the F-150 Lightning, they have an efficiency of about two miles per kilowatt hour. So significantly less. And when I'm out on the road, I fully intend on using this to my advantage and relying on my bike for not just joy rides, but also like if I have to run errands, this vehicle is always gonna be more efficient than a bigger van. But I will say that I don't love electric bikes and electric vans and trucks uh, solely because of the environmental uh, impacts. They also just, the performance of electric is just way better and what I prefer. And I think all of you guys that have uh, e-bikes can relate to this. The instant torque, the power, the responsiveness, the low maintenance, that's a, that's a key factor here as well. Uh, it's just the superior way. To me, it's clearly the future. So even though right now these electric vehicles are, you know, in the early phases of their adoption curve, they take more planning to, you know, see whether or not it can fit into your lifestyle. I think it's worth it. And they're only going to get better over time beating gas cars in every single metric. But even right now, I like to be ahead of the curve and that's why I've always been a fan of uh, all kinds of electric vehicles. Now, one of the first things I'm gonna do and bring you guys along with me for the journey once I get this vehicle is a trip to the Devil's Playground. This is similar to Moab, how it's a great off-roading destination. Great to bring my bike and just rip around. And so many people think that EVs can't do long range trips, but trust me, I've done the research and with just a little bit of extra planning, this is more than feasible. I also have a, a little bit of a crazy idea of picking up this 240 volt generator to bring with me as a range extender. This is essentially a portable level two charger and I can put 7.2 kilowatts per hour back into my battery, which is significant. Again, even these vans, they get two, three miles per kilowatt hour. I even roughly ran the calculations here on what's the equivalent MPG I would get in my van charging it via this gas generator. And it came out to something like 25 miles per gallon as a rough estimate, which isn't terrible. But anyway, I want to tell you guys about this, uh, all this research I've been doing and how very soon this channel is not gonna be just about e-bikes. It's gonna be all about electric vehicles, power management. And as far as I can tell, I'm the only channel that's gonna be doing these kinds of fully electric uh, adventures. And I'm, I'm so excited to do it. Once I buy either a van or a truck, I'll make a detailed video going over why I chose that platform, the pros and cons. 
and soon after that we're gonna we're gonna launch go on a trip and test out all of my my theories and research should be fun but that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace